this is the time where you're actually going to be processing the positive and the negative of the of what you want. How am I going to get there? What's going to happen? Okay, well then I have to work extra hard. I hate fucking work so hard, but you want this, yeah. So it's going to help you determine how you want to set your goals for this intention right now, which is great. Yeah, it's a chance to balance. Yeah. Hello, and welcome back to Embodying Mystical Mac. Um, I can't stop with this nipple. <laughs> Fucking nipple. And it's pink, so it's like it's a pink nipple. It just makes it more humanistic. <laughs> Mama! Mama! <laughs> Mama! Okay. We've already started in a tangent. This is going to be great. Mama! <laughs> if you're new here... Welcome. Um, this is un this is different from the content that I post more regularly, but you will get this episode once a month um, because that is how often the new moon happens. And then you'll get a bonus if there's ever anything cool in the astrological world happening, like eclipses and whatever. Um, or if we have like a cool thing to do, like when we did the lunar astrology reading. Da -da 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 -da. A deer here, a deer is Leo, a deer via. You can find his links down below yeah um, whether you're in podcast form or in youtube form um and he is really intelligent but also he's very well versed yeah. in astrology as well as tarot reading so we get together every new moon to talk about the energies that it's offering the moon that is and we do a collective yeah. reading for for the listeners viewers out there who want a little bit of guidance on how to best utilize this energy Hello. i think i became intuitive because i was a slippery baby <laughs> oh oh god why can't i remember like this the, the water sausages when we were kids you try to hold it and you can never hold the sausage <laughs> oh my god yeah the slippery sausage <laughs> oh the ones that they made with like glitter <laughs> my sausage keeps falling oh Somebody help me grab my sausage. Oh! Wait, just to be clear, you are talking about the, like, the toys. Yeah, the okay, toys okay, okay. sausage yeah, yeah. <laughs> It sounds like... <laughs> Anatomous. <laughs> Is that a word? <laughs> Anatomous. I don't know, but people make up words in English all the time. Like... Uh, conversate is apparently a word, even though it's properly converse. converse. <laughs> you know, uh, irregardless has become a word. Integritus. <laughs> Isn't it integral? Yes. But it's But hey, language is ever evolving. I heard someone's like, I don't do that. I'm integritous. It's like, well. Mm. <laughs> language is ever evolving. I just chalk it up to yeah. that because I used to get way too upset with other people's grammar and it's just not as good for me, you know? <laughs> I just, you know. Like hey, a, they added Ayudulan in the Webster's Dictionary. Did they really? I think so, because I look up words all the time. Oh, I'm going to look it up now. Okay, I had to make sure it was recording because it's that kind of day. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> There's this little kid um, that I know that he just learned to say, he's a toddler, he just learned to say okay. And you'll be like, okay, okay, and he'll be like, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. okay, and like the stare, the the look on the face is my favorite part because it's not like a, and it depends, it depends on the, the okay is just like the thing to channel the response into. It's yeah. like I am Groot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I am Groot. <laughs> it's just the thing because he obviously doesn't have any more words, and so it's like if he's been freaking out because he kind of does that a little bit, and you'll be like trying to distract him, you'll be like. Hey, okay, and he'll be like, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Um, or if it's like if if he's in a happy mood, and you'll be like, okay, and he'll be like, okay. <laughs> Did you do that? Okay. Okay. So okay. How do you feel about that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why would you do that? Okay. The talk, the learning to talk phase is one of my favorites. Genuinely. Apparently, when I was learning to talk, learn English at mm -hmm. the time, I would pretend I'd go fiddly ding. <laughs> I would say yes, 
Doodle doodle do. Oh my god. Fiddly ding. I did that too. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So I grew up, um, we had a lot of, I grew up in Brazil for the first nine years of my life. And I, we had a lot of exchange students because my mom was part of the Rotary Club and like she was, you know, deep in all that. And so we hosted a lot of exchange students, a lot of which spoke English, um, even if they weren't from a country that spoke English. Like yeah. that was kind of like the communal language sometimes, like before they started to learn Portuguese. And so my, and I would always be so upset that I didn't know how to speak with them because it would, it wouldn't be until, you know, cause they, they usually stayed for a year. Six months was the short term, long term was a year. And it was only by like six months that they would actually learn Portuguese enough for me to be able to talk to them and interact with them yeah. as a kid. And so I would like just run around, like I would hear my mom saying certain things and I would pick up certain sounds and then I would say those sounds and then like followed by gibberish. Oh my God. <laughs> dibble, 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 Fiddly ding. That's my daughter. I just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then the kicker is I would listen to songs in English and I would like imitate them and repeat them and people are like wow i actually understand what you're saying <laughs> so, really? i was thinking my heart will go on from when i was oh my like... god i don't remember i used to sing <laughs> that song the old disco song macho macho duck they made it like macho duck instead of macho man but oh. I, I, I i i didn't know how to say macho so i would say duck in spanish i go pato pato duck <laughs> i want to be a pato duck Pato, pato, da. I want to be a pato. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. That's hysterical. Uh, oh, man. The I shit think my mom never knew. Her. She was going to have grandchildren <laughs> by that time. She was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> wow. Well, with that intro, we are here yes. to talk about the new moon that's going to be in my son. Sun Zodiac of Gemini. Yeah, I'm just confused because a lot of things are saying the moon is in this sign. The moon is that. It's in Gemini, the new moon, from what I know. It may be passing through Aries. It may be passing through Taurus, but it will end up in Gemini. Yeah, it's in Gemini. Um, Mercury's retrograde still. Pluto's retrograde to October 3rd or 8th. What does that mean? Um, Isn't Pluto like the hidden... Yeah, hidden occult. Yeah. Um, I just think of Sailor Pluto with her big green hair and yeah. her staff. Death, rebirth. Time. Yeah. She's the so, keeper of time. Let's get this straight. Retrograde doesn't mean they're going backwards. It's just the way it looks in the perspective, the way it spins What when it's on is that it's, it looks like it's going backwards, but it's not because if it did go backwards, it'd be like catastrophe. It'd be like in Moon Knight when Conchu turned the whole sky backwards instead of just looking at an app that oh could God. tell them that, <laughs> what the sky looked like then. <laughs> yeah, I never saw that. Oh, sorry. Spoiler alert, if you guys haven't seen... Um, Conch, Forget what I just said. Conchu, he's the Egyptian oh, god Conchu. of the moon. I get okay. Look, it's not that big a spoiler, but just like I'm gonna talk, stop talking. <laughs> so her version is the Conch version. <laughs> the real one is Conchu. There you go. Okay, so that was a Mercury retrograde example, <laughs> miscommunication, <laughs> but not taken seriously. All right, Moon and Gemini, New Moon and Gemini. Consider and pay attention to how you are communicating with people right now. Um, it is in Gemini, so... Wait, so Geminis, we're ruled by Mercury, right? Mm -hmm. Does that mean we're extra prone to miscommunication? It's during... in your sign, so it shouldn't be that bad. Like, we talked before. Yeah. So this retrograde isn't as bad as people think. People are always like, oh my god, it's retrograde, it's going to be bad. It's not. It's a lot of looking within, a lot of paying attention how you communicate with others right now, paying attention to opinions and listening. There's going to be a lot of listening right now. And the problem with retrograde right now also is that when you're listening, there's going to be some filter that are quite clean and you might take something on how you feel you take it when we need to stop and assess the area and see what's being told and be able and fuck now that i've been thinking in spanish i gotta go back to english <laughs> <clears throat> sorry and basically um 
pay attention to what you're hearing more than just taking what you think you're hearing. Yeah. That's what it is. Uh, listening to opinions right now, because opinions are going to be thrown left and right right now. There's, it's, it's always the whole thing with um, Gemini intense of the dualities of everything. You're going to have to do the dualities of everything. Be cre- like in forms of creativity, the dualities, the positive and the negative aspects. What do you have to learn from these two? So sometimes we just want to go, oh, well, I love doing this. Well, I'm just going to do this and this and this and this. I'm going to draw stick figures. Okay, great. You're going to have to change that shit up eventually. Add a little bit of this, add a little bit of that. So in order to cause that change and to the end, due to some improvement, there is going to be failure. So you're going to have to learn from that failure and mistakes. So when this happens, you're going to have to process both sides and go, oh, okay. This is what's going on. This is what isn't working. Now let's try to improve it and make it work in terms of creativity. If you're having issues with your business or if you're planning on doing a business right now, do it. Manifest. This is the only time I would say you could manifest. What was that? It's Ooh. a little fly. Yeah, they've been flying around a lot. I got, think it's from the orange tree in the back. I feel so bad for it. It got it drowned itself oh, well, in my coffee. At least it died faster than the caffeine. Oh, really? Oh, my God, it's coming out. <laughs> is that a thing? I don't know. It's like a high on the caffeine and just died fast. I am, um, this is going to sound gross, but I'm debating if I want a new one or if I'm just going to keep with this one. I have one fell in my neck care. I mean, like, I don't know. Look, for I don't, the amount of food we've cares. eaten, you know, who knows what's in right. half of the shit we eat. Right. From what I know is they have... Rumor has it a certain percentage of bugs have to fall into ketchup before it's been processed and made. Can you grab me some sort of tissue? Because I don't want to put this on your beautiful. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. Okay. That's from what I heard. I don't know. You know what's funny? When I was little and shit like that would happen, my family would be like, oh, it's fine. It's good for the eyes. And I'd be like, what? And they'd be like, have you ever seen one of those with glasses? (laughs) (laughs) That's cute. (laughs) I like that. I'm going to tell that to my nephew. He's like, I wear glasses. Exactly. Exactly. It's because you don't need enough bugs. Oh, my God. Bugs. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's it's actually not that bad. So, if, you know, people are going to say contracts and all this. If you're really inept to the idea of Mercury being retrograde, then pay attention to what you're signing. Pay close attention to that. Look at both sides of the spectrum when it comes to that, okay? Because right now yeah, it's another one is about to do the same shit. Yeah, they're they're. I don't. I Y'all think it's because I left the back door open. Y'all are stupid. Yeah. They smell the um, sugar. That's what it is. Um, because she's so sweet. <laughs> My coffee. She's so, so sweet. sweet. And here's the retrograde of it all. What? <laughs> okay. I I don't get it. What's going on? Let me make you get it. <laughs> that puts me out of fucking left field. <laughs> Let me make you guess. I mean, man, that's Gemini, uh, right? We yeah. go from left to right and back again. So, yeah, know. right now things are going to be going, like you said, left to right on both sides of the pendulum. It's going to go like this. Yeah. When generally things just go like this and then it finally goes here or it just waves there or goes up or down. But right now it's just... Mm-mm-mm. So you have to see both sides of the spectrum. Go in depth with the maybe. Mm, that's good. Maybe I should... Why am I thinking maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. Maybe, you know, mm-hmm. there's something there. Yeah. You know, cause right now our minds are looking within, especially with the mercury and it being in Gemini. So it's a lot of looking within yeah. right now. Self communication. Yeah. And with the new moon being in Gemini, Hey, like I said, new beginnings, it's always a fresh start of the cycle. So right now you get to put it's actually a good time to manifest too. Yeah, that's what on you this were saying new moon. When I got distracted by the phone. Yeah, it's a good time to manifest for this new moon because it lets you go on both sides. This is the time where you're actually going to be processing the positive and the negative of the, of what you want. How am I going to get there? What's going to happen? Okay, well then I have to work extra hard. I hate fucking work so hard, but you want this, yeah. So it's going to help you determine how you want to set your goals. For this intention right now. Which is great. Yeah. It's a chance to balance. Yeah. Balance. Like the last one. The balance. <laughs> Rerun. Re- Let's go back to the balance. If you don't know what we're talking about. Um, 
It's in a past episode, so maybe go go watch oh, yeah. that. <laughs> For some odd reason, I gotta pull one. Oh my god! The balances. <laughs> For some odd reason, I was told to pull out this one. How fucking crazy! Okay, so is that? for those of you that are um, not uh, natural, for those of you that are consistent viewers, subscribers. Oh my god, returning people. Hello, I can't speak. Um, we usually use the mood tarot deck, so yes. today we have a different one. If you are YouTube subscribers, you're watching this. Um, it's what is this one called? The gold deck. The gold deck, um, as evident by like the gold backs and, and the then, gold trimming and the gold trimming. Um, but it's based, it's Renaissance inspired. So it's not witty like the other one. It's, it's more straightforward, but it's really pretty. So the two of, co- the two of, oh, and they have coins instead of pentacles. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they have yeah, little quirks like more that. Coins. Cute. Okay. So two of pentacles. Let's go. Two of pentacles. It's that whole pendulum left to right. Balancing what you need. Balancing what you get balancing now this represents um earthly needs earthly things i always say home food work those are the three that the pentacles or the coins represent home food work home food work home food work so ah you want me to open which one this one oh okay oh she's in reverse are you gonna read her in reverse no eight of swords you have the eight of swords like I said, it's a flimsy ass. It's knot. not as bad as people think it is. This retrograde, I, I I'm focusing more on the retrograde right now because everything is in Gemini. You got Gemini in retrograde. I mean, you got Mercury in retrograde, which is ruled by Gemini in its own sign in Gemini, and then right. you got the new Moon in Gemini. So there's a lot of um, mental shit. So what I mean by mental shit in this picture, it's very clearly obvious. She's just blindfolded around a lot of swords. She's not bounded. She's not held down. She can walk yeah, her way through the swords. Like literally, the thing binding her is a flimsy ass rope yeah. with a flimsy ass knot that if she could just like feel her way to where that knot has like a loose piece, she could just pull it and pull herself free. Yeah. Like it's one it's what it strikes me as in this card tends to strike me that way. It's it's um it's a limiting it's it's not limiting. It's a self binding as yeah. opposed to being bound by things around you. Sure, circumstances could have an impact. Like she is in a snowy mountain with some forest. Um, she looks kind of like a, a noble lady or maybe like a nun or something. Someone who probably shouldn't be there. So okay, circumstances have landed her this place, but she's not lacking in power. She yeah. actually has a lot of power, and if she were to unbind herself, take her blindfold off. She could walk through the swords, she could use the swords, she could sell the swords, she could do whatever she wants with them, but it's like, she's, yeah, that's kind of what I get from this card. Wow, these are all good. Seven okay. of cups and ten of cups. This is the first time we haven't gotten a major arcana in like I know, a while. forever. So like I said, it's more of the, the process is more of the journey within, not the soul's journey. So right now it's more of what's going on with you. We got... Seven the of Seven cups. of Cups and the Ten of Cups next to this. Okay. This is where I'm getting at. Okay, Renaissance I feel that they babies need to be... freak me out. I'm sorry. They look like they Renesmee. Do. <laughs> they do! That baby scared the hell out of me. If you don't know who Renesmee is, Twilight! Twilight. <laughs> Jake. <laughs> Fucking Twilight. That baby was the scariest <gasps> damn baby I ever saw in my life. It was one of those when I'm just like eating popcorn going, mmm, this movie's terrible. When is it gonna <laughs> The doll was even worse than the CG version they ended up with. There was a doll. Yeah, like it was bad because okay, this is a tangent. I'm not gonna go to it. But there was a doll and it and it was there bad. Was a doll? There was a doll. I thought it was I all will... CG. It was gross. Not gross. It, it was, was all CG in the movie, but before they tested the doll and they realized no. Really? <laughs> like the doll was not it. They also remind me of which granted this is inspired by Renesmee, but do you watch what we do in the shadows? I fucking love what oh, we do okay. in the shadows. You're caught up. Are you caught up? With the doll? No, with, with what happened to Colin Robinson? No, I haven't seen that yet. Oh, Colin okay. Robinson. Okay, okay, I guess yeah. he gets turned into a vampire, probably. He always wanted no, to be No, but he one. is already one. 
Colin Robson is an, an, an energetic vampire. Oh, yeah. That's I the love joke. Him. Oh, yeah. The he's, he's an emotional vampire. Oh, I fucking love Colin Robinson. Yeah, okay, you need to get caught up on season I like four, I think. Sonia? Nadja. Nadja. I, I love Nadja and her doll. My favorite is this Jif. <laughs> what kind of a name is Jif? <laughs> it's like a terrible orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> Jif. <laughs> my favorite is when she continues to call him Jisk. 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 I really love her. The witches, they like to steal the sperm of the vampires Tati- to make magnets. Tatiana worked on that show. Oh, I love. She made the, the like, the, she designed and made the throne in, in the newer, the newest season. Okay, you need oh to ca- catch up. Anyway. I have to. Anyway, Renez May Baby. <laughs> I want to watch what we do in the shadows and I. You have na- to. To me, Naja makes the Naja's Naja's the best. The- it. I just She's love the it. best. Oh, it's I'll do. I do Please. like <laughs> Nandor the Relentless. <laughs> the, the Relentless. Yes, I've been a vampire for many years. I was 16 years old when I was made a vampire. I love when he talks about his like aring and pillaging. It's just like, oh yes, this is what we did. I had lots of we power. We did this made. all the time. <laughs> With that smile. We did this. <laughs> I love it when it just goes like... Guillermo. <laughs> Guillermo. <laughs> Poor Guillermo. I love that show I love, so much. That's a great freaking show. Uh, okay, I don't okay. want to talk anymore because I feel like you're, I'm going to spoil it. So just, you need to catch up. All right, I'll have to catch up. I catch just, up. I still can't get over the joke. But... <laughs> Jeff! <Yeah. laughs> what kind of a name is Jeff? <laughs> You're all Jesk and no Gregor. <laughs> <laughs> My Gregor. I fucking love Nadja. Also, like the woman as a, with the witches, the witches, it is true. I, oh my god. They steal the sperm of the vampires to make magnets. <laughs> what? <laughs> and what? then they be. Oh, spoilers for what we do in the shadows. Um, and then they, they like create a symbiotic relationship between them. I fucking love them all. Okay. I love that show. Anyway, go on. All right. Done with spoilers for what we do with the shadows. All right. This, now this always represents happily ever after marriage and all this. The Ten of Cups. This combo, no. Whatever anxiety, whatever internal things you're going to get, it's going to pass. It will pass. Um, It should pass fairly quick. Everything that's happening right now within its duality will happen very quick. And you know what's funny? This is marriage. Yeah. Duality. Right. Two. Two things coming together. Two things coming Binding. together. Two. Yeah. There's a pattern you know? here. There Gemini. Is a pattern. Twins. There's a pattern here. Yeah. Um, and then you have the seven, the seven of cups. Yeah. This is more of a... If anyone right now is contemplating what they're doing with their life, what, who am I? What's going on? It's still going on. It's been happening since the last, the, the floral blood moon. Yeah, it's yeah. still going on. Um, now is the time, once the full moon comes in, to figure out what you want to do with yourself. Because right now, <clears throat> it's still near. Everyone's just like, oh, there's this random depression that people are getting right now. Like, I just don't understand. It's just, uh, um not releasing what has been done already and still holding on to that, uh, not moving forward. Everyone is just stagnant in the middle and going, okay, um, I have to finish what we do in the shadows, <laughs> but I need to do the laundry and I want a cup of coffee. I'll give you the better, the best analogy. You know when you're sitting down and you know you have to get up but you don't want to get up but you really do have to get up and you just don't want to do the work to get up yeah so you're just gonna sit there and go i think i should get up yeah you're gonna think through all the ways that you should get up how how do i get up left foot or right foot do i use my hand oh i forgot i have hands (laughs) god look at these they they have a mind of their own, <laughs> but I'm controlling them. This long process, that's what it is. It's time for you to get up. 
just fucking blah, 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 bleep blah bloop you're on your feet you're doing what you want to do you're doing what you need to do by the new moon or a little after new moon set your intention henceforth take that action okay take that action and within the midst of that journey yes you'll have your swords it'll happen over it'll get over with You'll make, you'll see the, you'll see everything. Now, if you're on this side of the spectrum, like I said, now's the time to make your decisions. Don't get stuck in the indecisiveness. But I, I just, home, I don't know. But do I want to buy a snake? Oh, God. <laughs> head sounds good. It's <laughs> fucking head. I know. Why? Like, up, why? But I believe in dragons. Oh my god. It reminds you know, me of the, the freaking the artwork at the Getty, like the really religious artwork at I the Getty. Been there yet. Oh my god, you should go. Nate and I just went oh, for like a it. second and it was really it was really awesome. I um, wanna go like the, for like a day. Really? I'm on a coffee. Oh. I don't wanna get up. Yeah, that's the what vibe. Should I do? I mean you could get some after the video. Oh god. <laughs> video. But uh <laughs> Now it's time to make up your mind. Now it's time to figure out what you want to do. Um, and if you're still lost in that process, you still have time. You're still going to do it. You're still going to think. But make your plans. Make what you need to do. Get, you know, um, my retrograde might give you some challenges, but it's not going to be as bad as people think it is. Uh, fun fact, 80% mm. of the planets are always retrograding every year. So there's mm. always one planet that's retrograding yeah, every year. Yeah, I think I have heard that. Yeah. But right now there's two. Okay. There's Pluto and Mercury. Um, Mercury. With Pluto attached with Mercury, which is death and rebirth, like the Phoenix, the hidden, the occult, the all of that. It's just telling you this. It's telling you this and it's telling you this. This is Pluto getting in the way with the retrograde right here. You put these two together, you're just like, fuck them. The indecision and the self-limiting. Why did I choose this path? Why did I make this decision? You know, what what happened to me? I didn't expect to be here at this age. Yeah. That's where it's all at. Yeah. But what do you have to do once you start thinking that way? Don't beat yourself up over it. Just give yourself a little hug. Oh, I got nice pecs. <laughs> I like my pecs. Well, give yourself a little <laughs> hug and say, hey, you know what? I did what I did. I learned from it. It's cool. Now let me take action and f go for the better. Get my 10 cups out of it. Seek that balance. You put these two together, you know, you're getting your balance. You're seeing both sides of the spectrum to create your own happiness. Pratakas! How they say in the Latin community, when my mom said the family, Pratakas! It's like, booyah! Oh, okay, I don't know. Pratakas! I don't know that. I haven't heard that one. It's some, I don't know, every country has their own I'm way sure of doing do. it. I'm sure they do. Like my, I'm my sure mother's there's something Latin in Brazil gas. I just can't think of. <laughs> she says he in sexy. <laughs> oh. You know? Uh, this is my grandma's version of that is misericordia. Me <laughs> or, God. My grandma was always, oh, <laughs> no me diga. No me diga. Yeah. <laughs> was, oh, no me diga. That's awesome. You so, know? I or have... have my Cuban's friend, my Cuban friend, Dios me ama. What is that? It's Dios me de mi vida. Oh, okay. Dios me ama. Dios me ama. Imagínate, mira. Que se puso bobo, baby. Y se agarró la maleta y se fue para allá. Y le dije que anda con su ropa vieja con esa otra mujer allá. I'm so surprised I understood that because <laughs> that is even more strung together than like Mexican Spanish. No, that is so no. fast. But I guess no Mexican Spanish like they enunciate really well. It's just like really brrr, like super fast. I can understand Colombians really well. Yeah. I can understand Puerto Rican pretty well. I could not. Sometimes I couldn't understand. I had a Puerto Rican neighbor once, and she'd be like, "Pero que tú sabes hablar tú sabes." <laughs> oh shit! And I'd go, uh, "Okay." Well, I struggle Jeez. because some of the dialects don't pronounce the s. Yeah, some don't. Oh my god, that that shit throws me. Yeah. Like there's this one song that I love, and they're in a there's like three artists like kind of like a reggaeton vibe song, and 
one of them is Colombian. Yeah. And then the other one is from somewhere else. And then the other one is also from somewhere else. But one of them doesn't pronounce their S's. And it took me a second to be like, what is she saying? Like, what is she saying? Ah! Uh! Porque tu sabe. And se le sabes. Porque tu sabe. Well, what throws me is the say like, misma o historia. Misma. Mima. Historia. And I'm just like, historia. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, I had, okay. I, I had a Cuban friend in the family. Okay. It was amazing. Mira, papa. Mira, bobo. Bobo, so they would say. Bobo. Te voy a decir, te voy a decir una cosa. Alguna vez que vas a mi casa, so tienes que comer lo que yo hago. Porque así se ponen. Así es para ser buen educado. Si sea mal educado, no come mi cosa. <laughs> if you're, if you're badly yeah. behaved, yeah. you don't need in my house. Si no quiere comer mi arroz, entonces sálgate allá. Porque yo sé que hay alguien que viene a comer mi arroz y dice ropa vieja que es tan bonita. Ay, Dios mío, mamá. I love how you even threw in the ropa vieja. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. I loved be some ropa vieja. I actually couldn't. It's so funny that I'm vegan now because I couldn't chew meat when I was little. I had such a hard time chewing really? meat. Especially this particular way we prepared meat in Brazil called carne de sol. We like let it sun I know dry. carne de sol. It's, I mean, it's very delicious, but it's just like I couldn't chew. My, I had to have pieces like this big. Otherwise, I would just spit them back up because I couldn't. I, couldn't I didn't eat when I was a swallow. kid. My mom was just like, "Why aren't you eating?" I used to feed my brother, and he got chubby because I fed him my food. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. I was like, oh "I don't want the beans," and I used to feed it to him. Oh my god! And now I'm like, I love food. I do love I food. I love food. Okay, I do have thoughts on this. What's your thoughts? Um, I. Like, I too, everything you're saying, like, I've definitely been feeling that in my own life. Um, though I think I've been more on, like, the other side of it. Like, I feel like I've already unbound myself and, like, opened my eyes. And I'm like, oh! Yeah, some people will get th- it early. This is a field of swords. Let me just walk cautiously. Yeah, some people will, some people will get it early. Some so it's just, like, not. I feel like I've already kind of, like, come to the harder, the hard part of being, like, this is where I'm at. Let's actually take a clear look on what that is and what this looks like. And, um, you know, and like made my decisions and stuff. And actually, I think it was yesterday or the day before when I was driving to work. And I just had this moment of like extreme gratitude for all of the places that I've been that put me here now. Because like they're sure, you know, like I could... I could go the self-critical way and I could go, well, if I had just started my YouTube channel really when I was 18, like my brother said that I should, then I would be X, Y, Z here and there now and this or, you know, like I wouldn't be having financial stress. I wouldn't be this. I wouldn't be that. I wouldn't be having to figure all this out right now. Yeah. But also, I... I probably would be a shit mother. <laughs> I probably would have bipolar a disorder. A shit mother? And I probably would have bipolar disorder. And I probably wouldn't have, like, actually gone as deeply into, like, my self-development as I have. And, yeah. you know, to me, it's just, like, all this stuff is awesome. And the fact that I get to work towards, you know, a career that I I get to control because... I'm sitting here because I decided to ask you on my podcast and you agreed and we do yeah. this together. It wasn't some, you know, it wasn't a Simon Cowell who put us together to you make some money or this. It, it was worst. How he says it. You have got to be. <laughs> he grabs his breasts. Oh my God. But like, but you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's a terrible singer. <laughs> His acting's actually pretty good, all things considered, because I don't mm. know what's real what's not. But you know what I mean? Like, you know, we're, this is something I'm choosing to do, and I'm so lucky that I get to put this, um, to, to, oh, fuck, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, there's a lot of gratitude for what I'm coming to, because even though being successful in this is, and the things that I want to do is great, what I ultimately care about the most and that is the core of, you know, my my whole thing, my brand, for lack of a better word, is embodying the best human that I can be. And for me, I call that mystical Mac, like, which is, you know, why we're here. But, like, 
and and like without all this i would still be doing that yeah you know and so and that wouldn't happen i would not be here if it wasn't for all of the life experiences that took me all kinds of directions that didn't lead me lead to me having a stellar youtube career by the time i was 21 which honestly if we're going you know like multiverse theory alternate timelines i genuinely think there's a timeline where i got wise and i started a youtube channel when i was 18 i and think there's a multiverse where I have an Oscar or yeah. a million. But this is my thing. In the multi in the other universe where I have an Oscar, and this is going to be a potential video, why I'm glad my childhood dreams didn't come true the way that I wanted them when I was a kid. Ooh, we I, should do an episode about the multiverse. We should. Um, but like, you know, I, in that alternate universe where I'm a successful Oscar winning actress, I probably am addicted to some things, to some sort of awful substance. I'm probably incredibly ill-adjusted. I probably don't have the support system that I have now, and I'm probably living in this scenario where I don't know who to trust all the time. Yeah. And I know all this because like, this is the hard, this is the hard work, the field of swords that I've had to walk through when I decided, holy shit, I came to LA to pursue Hollywood and it turns out that pursuing Hollywood is not compatible to who I am, you know? And in that moment I had similar things that I'm going through now that we're all going through now. Holy shit, how did I get here? Oh my God. And much like I'm trying to do now, but I think I'm better at it now than I was then because I've had more practice, I'm just going, well, fuck, I'm actually, there. there's places where I feel like I haven't gotten anywhere, but then there are places that I've gotten so close to the somewhere that I want to be at this point in time that, you know, it's like, it's a give and a take. Yeah. And I felt a great need to just like my advice to those of you that are struggling a little bit to see the sense and like the choices you've made and how you've gotten here i'm not saying force gratitude upon yourself like if you're still dealing with the aftermath of difficult situations and difficult feelings there's no need to deny those feelings you don't have to tell yourself everything's great and positive it doesn't feel that way but we can have um insight and and gratitude for things that happened even if we're not super keen on those things that happened for example right like i don't love that i wasn't super seen in my childhood the way that i needed to become well adjusted and super developed and not have mental you know mental struggles and shit like that but it was that life experience in early childhood that also turned me out to be a really good like empath and spiritual antenna <laughs> like those gifts probably would have never developed to the degree that they had if i hadn't had to learn to see and feel the things around that people weren't saying and doing in order to protect myself yeah. so i can be grateful for that experience and still be like fuck no i wouldn't relive it <laughs> like if i had to be put through it now knowing better no i would not want that upon myself but Oh, yeah. I'm grateful it happened. And, yeah, there's a sense of optimism from where I'm going. And if anybody out there is not quite there yet, just know that, like, just like before plant medicine experiences that I've had, they remind us everything is temporary, right? Because those medicines yeah, tend to make true. a moment feel like it's a lifetime. Everything is temporary. These oh. feelings that you're going through, they're temporary. Like, this is what I take and I hear everything you're saying. What I say is this to people. I don't believe in mistakes. I believe in lessons. Learning opportunities. So when shit hits the fan or things don't go your way, I always ask, or when they don't go my way, in other words, what is the lesson that needs to be learned in this? Yeah. Even after a breakup, fuck them. Oh, yeah. God, he destroyed my love. It shaded on me. He, he did. She did this, and she was stealing. Fuck the victim shit. What is the lesson that needs to be learned in this situation? Yeah. You know, why did my friend go off and do that? Well, here's the lesson. You know, just... Yeah. Whatever. You know, no, not to hang out with someone like that when you see a red flag. You yeah. know, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. This person just is, is an asshole to me, so I resent them. No. It's continuing because you're allowing it to happen. That is a lesson that needs to be learned. Yeah. Set healthy boundaries. Right. 
yada 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 yeah you know stuff like that yeah i don't know why i went to that tangent hey but it's somebody needs to hear a tangent maybe someone needs to hear that right now yeah who knows sometimes these cards just say the weirdest shit to me like these ones are very powerful i love these ones because they're very like they have a lot of reverence that's the word that i can think of yeah they're very to the point yeah that's yeah, yeah. Like they're not playing around. <laughs> they're not playing like, around. Look, listen. Hence this. Listen. Here. Five of wands. That's the universal. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of cups. There's a lot of feelings. A you lot know? of feelings. Two of cups. Duality. Duality. So, feel the feel both. The universe is like, look. Yeah. There could be a lot of internal conflict and duality. But even with the universe was saying the, the what the five of wands with all these arrows going in different directions, which means there's no one's in the same and there's a hen page. or a, a, yeah, rooster's a rooster just but randomly cocking on you. Yeah. Oh no, remember. it's sunrise. It's mm-hmm. sunrise right now. The sun will shine. Yeah. The rooster will always come and make the sun shine, and everything will be bright again. And look how most of them are looking down. Look yeah. up, bitches. <laughs> ah, it's not that bad <laughs> this as is you the think. Title. Look up, bitches. <laughs> look up, bitches. Look up. Look up. This ain't no ropa vieja. <laughs> this ain't no ropa vieja. This. I love how I do that. This. <laughs> you're going to be something really good for you. Now make sure you tell yourself every day how much you love yourself. And you're going on the path that you want to go to. And like really like from. And this is. I'm, I'm going to disclaim this. What I'm about to say with this. I'm someone who struggles with. A victim mentality like I am someone I who, think everyone nowadays does I, I true but I just mean Especially like in LA when they drive I can't believe they did that what a fucking asshole actually you cut them off no I didn't I was just trying to get somewhere <laughs> okay yeah but what I mean is like like no genuinely that's something that you know I've been working on with my therapist that's something that like people close to me have like helped me see so coming from someone that feels this struggle like There has to come a point where you go, yes, I was put in a situation where I felt like a victim, where I probably even was a victim. I'm no longer in that situation. What can I do with what it's led me to? What can I do henceforth from here? Because that's all you can control. Like, that's all you can control. I used to have such a big victim mentality. And it pops up. It creeps up. Of course it It does. It creeps up so hard. Remember when what I said last title? time, it's like, oh, old, yes. old tendencies might pop mm-hmm. up again. Like old little bad habits. Mine popped up. Why doesn't anybody like me? What the fuck? Dude. Why am I thinking like that? I, You know what? I like myself. And that's all that matters. Yeah. And because I like myself, it shows. And people are drawn to that. I have to yeah. remind myself. When I started thinking, no one fucking loves me. I literally went to the mirror and went, I <laughs> like you. You're I cool. Fucking love You're you. fucking cool. You play Mario Kart and fight with people online. Yeah, you're the <laughs> badass. You know what else you do? You put potato chips in your milkshakes. Because they're fucking good. And I like doing that. <laughs> Ta! <laughs> Yeah, dear, you're badass. <laughs> Who's the badass? I'm the badass. Remember, imperfect separated means I'm perfect. Fuck yeah. Really though, like learn. Yeah. Learn to give yourself pep talks. Learn to see yourself in a better light because that's how you become more that's empowered. This is too. I think it's talking about giving yourself a self talk to start practicing. Oh, that makes that. sense. Well, oh, what I was gonna say. There's a lot of feelings, and the whole. There's a lot of cups. There's a lot of feelings. A in lot there. of feelings. Intellect and, and feelings. And the fact that this is a new moon in Gemini, alluding to you know air, mental energy. That means you you have to open yourself up to your feelings and really think about them. Not necessarily like. Let me just think about how I feel right now. But like, really, like how many of us go through life and we don't actually hone in on the feelings and sensations that we're experiencing? You know, we feel nervous. And instead of like really going through it and going with our minds, which is a, your best tool when it comes to figuring out your feelings, by the way, because you can feel your feelings. But in order to like alchemize them into something, you need your mind. There, This is not here for no reason. You can use your mind to go, hmm, 
I'm nervous. Where does that sensation live in my body? Oh, my chest is tight. That's really interesting. What's making me nervous? Was it when that person walked into the room? Was it this? Was it that? That Like, get your mind involved in your feelings. This is, like, what I'm getting from this because it's, like, you you know, you can feel... This vape is making me nervous. <laughs> then stop it. It just looks like a Kegel weight. <laughs> it does a little bit, actually. It's a little long. It's a little long. I work my Kegels but like if, with flume. If you could, like, take this part off and it would just be this big, then it would be better. Because I don't know, I don't know how many God, people have that heavy. long of a... ah. <laughs> But anyway, God. you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it, this is just telling me like, okay, so like the leading sign is an air, but it's a lot of feelings. That means like it's time to get your mind involved into the process of feeling your feelings. And that, that is, that is how you alchemize your fucking difficult experiences, your hardships into a stronger mind. Yeah, you know? Like the seven of cups, feel it out. What do you want? What feels good to you? Yeah, and try different good. things. Yeah, try different things. There are so many different things here on this card. Mm-hmm. Try different things. Like you don't, you don't have to make your decisions based on the abstract. Like make it a point to you know, feel it out, think about it, use yeah. the maybe. Use the maybe. Employ the maybe. Look up bitches and use the maybe. That's your title. Employ the maybe. Employ the maybe. Oh, that's better. Employ the maybe. Maybe I will um, employ the maybe. Breathe more. Would never, never thought that Gemini indecision would be a helpful tool. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think I'm like a very, oh, very accurate Gemini son? Like, would you think, oh, she's a Gemini son when you meet me? Because um, I, no. feel, I feel like people don't normally. No. Well, remember, people see you by your rising. Fair. Do you see me as an Aquarius? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Very like, okay. <laughs> okay. Whatever. I need, let me, um, um, here's the thing with an Aquarius rising. Uh-huh. Listen. I up. think when, um, things get a little stressed or uncomfortable, uh-huh. shut in. Yes. Hundred percent, yes. Um, the Gemini Sun mm-hmm. would balance that. Okay. However, it will not show to us because what we see is distance and walls. Okay. But in your head, you're like, you're acting stupid. Relax. Enjoy yeah. the day. Yeah. The Gemini is doing this to you, that part. Yeah. What's your moon? Scorpio. Um. Yeah, while. the Scorpio, if the Gemini doesn't listen, then the Scorpio's going to take over and be like, fine. <laughs> that's, why, that's why people probably hear you do a random sigh. <sighs> and then do it. That's the Scorpio? Uh-huh. <laughs> Being like, fine, we'll be miserable. <laughs> Ugh. Let's just commit to this misery right yeah, now. <laughs> I, I just saw you sighing when things like that, when you have just <sighs> a sigh come out of you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I just saw that. I thought that. That's so true. I but what that. I was gonna say is like you know, I people like that's the one quality of the Gemini that I for sure like that's ever present in my life is like the sense of indecision. So pretty cool that our maybe we should maybe we should <laughs> employ the maybe find your find your Gemini ness inside should I get the you. Cheeseburger or the um. The McDouble. The McDouble's two ninety nine <laughs> and the cheeseburger's two ninety nine. But do I want the extra calories? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I can afford it. I'm going to the gym for five days. Well, I guess I'll jog an extra ten seconds. <laughs> That'll burn the burger. <laughs> Is there anything else know. other than making your decision right now about the burger? I'm just getting reflect. Yeah, reflect. For sure. Reflect reflect. And really pay attention how you communicate right now with people. I'm getting that too. Really just um be mindful. Oh my god, I'm doing that Jennifer Coolidge thing again. <laughs> really just like <laughs> get in there. Get in there. Oh. 
just get in there and make it happen. <laughs> the faces. <is. laughs> yeah. Do anybody have any coke? <laughs> I always remember her for that. My friend said he was in an elevator with her and it was quiet. And everyone was like, is Jennifer cool? And she turned around and went, does anybody have any help? As a joke. That's amazing. <laughs> so ever since then, it's just like... <laughs> and I can picture her do that as a joke. Wow. You know, with that. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Flirting with the guys. Uh. <laughs> I love how now I'm rocking. <laughs> I really gotta pee. I really do too, though. So is there any anything else that um, we want to talk about? I'm just getting a lot of reflect yeah. and just think. Um, really pay attention to how you communicate right now. Pay attention to how you communicate with others. Don't just say, I want the fucking water. I need my paycheck. It's like, you know what? Let's practice tact. Use your pleases and thank yous. Um, Be yeah. a kind human. Um, and I'm not just blaming it on retrograde. Right now, it's really like, be conscious on how you feel. Be conscious on how you take, thi- you take things in. And right now, just how you take action, how you do things on a daily basis. Switch it up a little. Like, instead of, like, getting up right away, putting your coffee, get up, feed your cat, and then get the coffee. Or, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I don't, whatever, just change something around. Like, make it exciting. Because right now everything's a little, everyone's impatient, they're halt, hungry, angry, lonely, tired. Yeah. That's what everyone's at right now. They're like. So find a way to fill your cup. With all the cups here on the table. Find a way to fill your cup. Be mindful. Be conscious of what you say. Not just to others, but to yourself. And, yeah. Reflect, man. You can't make good decisions and you can't move forward without yeah. without reflecting. Otherwise, you're just going to encounter the same getting, shit. There's tons of red, which is the grounding chakra. The root chakra. The root chakra. Yeah. Ground. Yeah. Ground. Get cozy. Really, like, yeah. treat yourself... That doesn't mean, you know, if you're in financial strain to go out and put yourself in more financial strain by, like, paying for a bunch of shit. Treat yourself can be, like, I'm going to... Now's not a time to just go start shopping like crazy. Balance. There you go. I'm going to read a book today and, like, you know, inside or go to... I'm going to go to a park and and sit in the sunshine or whatever makes you feel like you're gaining energy instead of just needlessly expending it. Like, give yourself that. Make sure, you know... You're eating well and you're drinking enough water, but also that you're doing that mental grounding work, yeah. you know, so you can go forth. That that heart grounding work too. Oh yeah. Hey, em- employ the maybe. You don't have to decide everything right now. Maybe is the day. Maybe is the night. Everybody sings the maybe. All right. Woo! That's going platinum. <laughs> Hell thank yeah. you, a dear. Thank you, dollar. Aw, uh, thank you. Um, if you have any requests for James to put something on the screen for you, the last time Jen, was pretty funny. <laughs> make the t-shirt have um, an ice cream cone <laughs> with the slogan that says, this is not a treat. <laughs> there you have it. A dear's links will be below. Um, hit him up. Uh, he's a he's obviously great at tarot reading. Um, the best. We were just explaining to a friend that a dear like it's one thing to know the cards and their individual meanings. It's another thing to be able to like weave them together the way that he does. So if you I want something, weave. yes, a weaver, a weaver of cards. That makes no sense. If you, if you want a reading that's more specific to you, hit him up. Um, you can follow me. Yeah. Please subscribe, like if you've had a good time, and we'll catch you on the next new moon. Hit me up on a dear via. A dear Leo's been having issues. Yeah. A dear Via. So, A D Y R V I L L A. Hit me up on that. Boom shakalaka. Boom, boom, boom. 
Flash, James, flash my name. Bing, bing. <laughs> flash, James, flash oh, for those my of you that name. Bing, bing, bing. James is our phenomenal editor. He's the best. He's the best. Trust me, like the, my Greek friend. I've done it, trust me. It's the best. <laughs> True story. The best. The the best. Ba- I was so surprised one day. I was eating in Kolonaki Square and I saw it come to me and I said, Takanis with a kala. And I said, Oh, reo, reo, reos. And I got the kiss. It was the best. The like kick, scratching the dog in the right spot. You just did. <laughs> the best. Okay. The best. Okay. Bye. You had to clean up the snail trail behind. I was so wet everywhere and sweating. Okay. <laughs> and the yogurt was amazing. I love the yogurt. Sweet. The best. Bitter. Oh, may I tell you? I wet now thinking about it. It's so hot in here. The canis. <laughs> On that note. Kala.